Okay, now we are recording the conference. Okay, welcome people. Welcome to the ones that are responsible, to the ones that are here. The ones that were not responsible this time, please, if you watch this video later on, be responsible and attend the video conference and be on time, please, okay? I'm, I'm telling this to the ones who are not here in this video conference. Now, <clears throat> I'm sorry for that. Um, first of all, and before starting the class, guys, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say something, okay? About the previous homeworks that, well, that you did, okay? Now, what happened, <coughs> what happened is this, and I have a question first. Did you check your grades? Guys, did you check your grades? Yes, I did. You did? Okay, I hope everybody, everyone in this group did, okay? What happened is that some of you are not doing the, the homework, the task, as they are supposed to be done, okay? Um, I mean, there is a rubric in which you can just check why you have the grade that you, that you have, right? The one that you got. And as well, I always write a comment. I always write a comment. Necesito que todos, si no han chequeado sus grades, no lo hagan ahorita, pero lo hacen después, revisen esas notas en los dos trabajos que ya me entregaron. Eh, si hay algo ahí que yo necesite comentar, yo les dejo un comentario, pero también tienen la rúbrica para guiarse. ¿Ok? Eh, en este caso, hay algunos que no están haciendo la actividad como corresponde. No es solo una persona. Hubieron varios. Entonces, yo les puse ahí la actividad. No fue hecha en base a como, como se tenía que hacer. Y esas personas automáticamente, you're great. I mean, you got zero. Zero. ¿Ok? Necesitan ustedes para poder hacer las actividades como son. Necesitan ver la videoconferencia, si no presencial, pues pregrabada, aunque de preferencia presencial, pregrabada en el hecho de que le surja algo importante que no los permita estar aquí en este momento. ¿Alguien iba a decir algo? <coughs> no. Ok. Entonces, nada más eso, no sé si las personas a las que les comenté ahí les dije que, que, que no, que no lo habían hecho como debía, estén acá. En este momento, si lo están, pues tómenlo en cuenta. Me pueden escribir a WhatsApp luego eh, para preguntar más detalles, etc. Una persona lo hizo. Ya, bueno, yo contacté a esa persona y, y pues creo que le mandó un mensaje de que como que ya, ya tenía las actividades porque yo le di la oportunidad siempre que la volviera a hacer. No la había hecho de la forma correcta, pero la volvió a hacer. Y pues más tarde esa persona si está aquí, pues yo le voy a habilitar para que pueda subirlas. Eh, para los demás que pasó lo mismo, pues escríbanme. Ok, escríbanme. Entonces, nada más quería aclarar eso. Siempre revisen su nota y váyanse a la sesión de comentarios. A ver si les he dicho algo o no. Muy posiblemente cuando tienen buena nota, no digo nada. O tal vez les ponga un excellent o algo así. Porque no necesitan mucho, como que les diga algo más, right? Les pongo comentarios a los que quizás necesitan mejorar en alguna área. Yo les digo, mira, que te faltó esto o, deb o debiste hacer esto de esta manera. A los que lo han hecho bien, pues nada más good job y eso es todo. Buen trabajo. ¿Ok? Bueno, comencemos entonces. <coughs> bueno, antes de comenzar, no sé si alguien tenga algún comentario o pregunta respecto a lo que acabo de decir. <coughs> Ajá. Nobody. Ok, nobody. So, en este caso voy a comenzar a compartir la, la screen, la pantalla. Y vamos a comenzar aquí ya con la clase de este día. Como siempre, si me notifican primero, si pueden ver aquí la presentación de PowerPoint. Yes. Ok, perfect. Thank you. Ok. Ok, that's good. So we're going to start again. We are still in unit number one, developing writing skills, okay? 
And well, the subject you know is reading and writing techniques in English, and that is my name. Now we are going to be talking about connecting reading and writing. So we are going to talk about the connection between reading and writing. That's that's the topic for today, okay? Now, did you know that you can connect reading and writing? Did you know that? Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is a question for everybody, okay? Did you know that we can connect reading and writing? Uh-huh. Yes or no? Yes. Hello? Yes, okay, that, that's perfect. Now I have another question, right? This is the course goal, which is the same, but we're going to jump that. And these are the contents for this class. The, fir the, the first that we got there is the reading, writing connection, right? Crit critical readers, uh, exploratory responses, the reading, writing equation, and writing a reading response. Those are the topics that we are going to be talking about today, okay? And I have this other question here, and it says, how is reading connected to writing? Can somebody answer that question for me? I mean, if you don't know, but give me your opinion, okay? What do you think? I believe that we can connect reading to writing by doing this or this or that, the other thing, okay? That's what I want. Participate. How is reading connected to writing, people? Tell me. Alison de la O. Okay, Milena, okay. Milena, there you go, Milena. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, I think that from my point of view, from reading question appear, therefore answer of course. So mm -hmm. when we read any text, we had an answer. And the answer I think that is the writing, because mm -hmm. both are uh, complement to each other. Okay, you are like answering uh, what you read, right? What you're reading, what you're reading, you are uh, maybe taking notes and that's your answer to the reading. That's perfect. And I like it. Milena, very good job. Uh, let's see, Alison de la O. How is reading connected to writing according to you, Alison? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, how is reading connect? How is reading connected to to writing? Yes. I don't understand. I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, thank you, Alison. I mean, we're talking about the connection between reading and writing. Okay, so they are connected uh, to each other. Um, I don't know. Give me your. Oh. Opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Um, um, reading and writing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an idea right now. <laughs> okay, no, no problem, Alison. So we are going to learn that today, okay? Let's see somebody else. Ivalice, can you give us your opinion? Um, yep. Uh, somebody was saying, um, Rachel, right? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I think that I connect to the reader when I live it through the letters. I like to connect them so much that I, I imagine I Everything I am reading, I believe that mm -hmm. in that way we connect them with the reading. Mm -hmm. Very good. I like I like it. I mean, when you're reading, you are imagining something. I mean, you are creating um, a world in your mind about what you're reading. Okay, <laughs> that's perfect. I like it. I mean, you use may, your imagination. That's something? good. Yeah, Gabo, go ahead. Uh, in my opinion, the the reading. Is connected to writing because uh, when we write something, when we write a paragraph, we improve the the reading. Very good. I like it, Gabo. So when you write a paragraph, you improve your understanding on the reading, and that's perfect. I like it. That's what we are going to be talking about today. Very good. Very good uh, opinion, Gabo. Okay, let's see, I guess it's enough. So we're going to continue here. Okay, how is reading connected to writing? 
I mean, all of your opinions are good, okay? And all of them are right. Now we are going to learn a little bit more about this. Now, writing, take a look to this. Writing is a response to reading and speaking is a response to listening. What do you think about that? Can somebody give me your opinion? I mean, writing is a response to reading and speaking is a response to listening. How do you understand that? What's your understanding on that? Uh-huh. What do you understand by that? People. I'm, I'm gonna say it again. Writing is a response to reading and speaking is a response to listening. Uh-huh. <coughs> yep. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about that? <coughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you an example, okay? I mean, right now I'm speaking, right? And you are listening, you are listening to me. So then if I say uh, something like, um, for example, how are you? That a simple question, how are you? Um, you are listening to me, right? Let's uh, do something here, okay? Let's see, Carolina Ramos, how are you? Answer my question, please. How are you? Um, I'm good. How about you? Thanks. I'm good as well. Thank you for asking, Carolina. Okay. By doing that, I mean, I was, I mean, Carolina was listening to me, okay? She was listening to me. Now, then she spoke and she said, I'm good. Okay, so by doing that, we can say that listening, which is right here, is a, res uh, pardon, I'm sorry, a speaking is a response to listening. Okay, a speaking is a response to listening. I Carolina think... was listening to me. I'm sorry, Alison, yes. Um, in my opinion, Speaking is uh, yeah. speaking is a reaction uh -huh. and listening is the action. Very good. That's right. That's right. Speaking is a reaction and listening is the action. Very good. I mean, uh, Carolina was listening and then she gave me a response. How? By speaking, okay, by speaking. Now, when reading and writing, something similar takes place, okay? When, you, when you're reading a book, for example, you have a book here and you start reading the book, I mean, you have to respond to what you're reading. How are you going to respond to, your, to the reading? By writing, okay, by writing. That's your response. If your response to listening is speaking, your response to reading is writing. Okay, I want that to be clear. If your response to listening is speaking, your response to reading is writing. Okay? That's what I want to be clear. So writing is a response to reading okay this right here writing is a response to reading so you first read this is the number one this is the step number one and then you write this is the step number two you listen this is the, this is the step number one and then you speak this is the step number two okay i want that to be clear perfect Somebody has something to say about this, an opinion, I mean, an idea about this. <clears throat> yep. Uh 
ha Merlin. Go ahead, Merlin Santos. Mm, we cannot listen to you, Merlin. Well, let's see here. Okay, let's move on. We are going to continue talking about this in the next slide. Now it says here, the reading, writing connection, okay? We all know it exists. I mean, there is a connection between reading and writing, but how are they connected? How do we connect them? That's the question. How are they connected? How do we connect them? Uh, by what we discussed previously in this class, I want you to participate, okay? I want you to participate. How is reading connected to writing? How do we connect them? That's the, those are the questions. Basically, it's the same question, okay? How do we connect reading to writing? Or writing to reading? May I? Huh? <clears throat> May I? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, mister. I, I think the way the reading and writing are connected is that the, if we read something and we and and then or, uh, after we have read a book or something like that, mm -hmm. we we can get or obtain obtain uh, an idea mm -hmm. and we uh, write this idea. Very uh, good. One example will will be when the the teacher uh, give us the, the homework and then give us a, a doc or some doc mm -hmm. we have to read this document and mm -hmm. then we have to write the the or to do the homework very and, good uh, and 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 this way it is uh, how the reading is connected to writing excellent example gabo excellent I like it. So Gabo said that when you are reading something, okay, or it doesn't matter who, me, you, when we are reading something, the response to this reading or the connection to this reading is going to occur by writing or ideas or thoughts about the reading, okay? So you are going to write probably your understanding on the reading you write your understanding on the reading, and that's the way you are connecting both reading and writing, okay? Very good, Gabo, I like it. Let's see, let's move on here. And I have this. Now, critical readers, it says, to become critical readers, students need to get into a habit of writing while they read. Take a look to this, a habit, of writing while they read. This is what Gabo just said, okay? This is what Gabo said a moment ago, okay? So if you read, you have to write, okay? That's the connection. So that is a habit. Now, while you're reading, you're writing. I mean, when I'm reading a book, in my case, right? In my case, when I'm reading a book, and I find something very interesting in that book, what I do, what I do is that I underline, okay? I underline what the, the important things on that book. That's what I do. Sometimes, sometimes I annotate, okay? I annotate something, okay? Probably. If I am reading something very interesting and I annotate my understanding on that, okay? If you annotate, this is what you, what you just did the last time, right? But you did it with a video. Do you remember in the previous class, in the previous homework, we were talking about annotation, right? So you were doing annotations, but by watching a video. Now you can do annotating as well when you are reading, 
Okay, it's the same. It's the same. <coughs> now, so I practice these two: underlining and annotating. Those two. Okay, I have a lot of a lot of um, comments or underline paragraph in the books that I have. Yes. Now, this one right here, the one that is in the middle, which is exploratory responses, that is another thing, okay? That is more complex. And we're going to talk about exploratory responses right now, okay? So pay attention to that. Pay attention to that, exploratory responses. And it says here, <clears throat> I'm gonna become smaller. Okay, that's the way it is. Exploratory responses. Can somebody help me read this paragraph, please? Voluntarily. Yep. Can somebody help me read this, yeah, yeah. please? Okay, there you go, Gabo. Okay, um, I'm gonna start. Exploratory responses. By writing exploratory responses, a student continued to import a work of critical reading, which begin with annotating. <coughs> An exploratory response allows readers to extend the meaning of the text by creating their own commentary and, and fair pass. Fair as. Mm -hmm. Even branching off into creating their own argument that is inspired in, inspired or inspired by inspired. the reading. Inspired. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good, Gabo. Thank you very much for your help. Okay, it says exploratory responses, right? What happened with exploratory responses? It says. Students continue the important work of critical reading, which begins with annotating, okay? So this is the first part, and this is what you were doing in the previous homework, annotating. Now we are going to do something that goes beyond annotating. And what is that? That is writing exploratory responses, okay? That's what we are going to do now. Okay, it says, exploratory responses allow, allows readers to extend the meaning of the text by creating their own commentary, okay? So you are going to write your own commentary about the reading, okay? That's an exploratory response. Or you are going to create your own argument okay your own argument about what about the text okay how are you going to create that argument i'm going to show you that later on okay so don't worry now that argument is inspired by the reading so by the text that you are reading okay so what is an exploratory response basically an exploratory response is a commentary or your own argument about the reading. Yes, somebody was saying something there. <coughs> Tana? Yeah, Roxana. <coughs> Roxana, are you there? <laughs> Roxana Jimenez. <coughs> okay. Well, let's continue then. So that's basically an exploratory response, your own argument about the reading, about the text, okay? Now, let's take a look to this in a deeper way, okay? Now, writing as a response to reading, the reading and writing equation. Okay, this is the reading writing equation. I want somebody to help me read this, but not Gabo. Gabo, you already participated a lot. And thank you for that. Thank you a lot for that, Gabo. You're an excellent student, but I want to give the chance to somebody else. 
<coughs> May I? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, mister. All right. So writing as a response to reading the reading and writing equation. Reading and writing exist only in relation to each other. Writing is to reading as waking is to sleeping, as giving is to receiving. The one act presupposes the other act. Together, the, the two acts are one act, and yet each remains a separate act. At the same time, literally, to write and read, we must give and receive. Excellent, Enrique. I like it. Okay. So what Enrique just read, it says that reading, which is this, only exists in writing, I'm sorry, that reading and writing only exist in relation to each other. So they are related. Now, speaking, listening and speaking, they are related as well. Now, reading and writing are related. <coughs> And it's a, this is very important, right? Writing is to reading as waking is to sleeping. Now, if somebody is sleeping, right? That person is sleeping. So obviously, in any moment, that person is going to wake up, right? When you go to bed and you sleep, then you wake up. There's something normal, <laughs> something obvious, right? So then if you're reading, automatically, I mean, automatically, if you're reading something that is important for you, automatically, you are going to start annotating and you're going to start underlining or you are going to start writing, reading, uh, um, I'm sorry, writing, yeah, reading responses. Mm -hmm. Automatically. I mean, I'm telling you this because when I start reading a book, automatically, I say, ah, oh, this is very important. I need to underline this part or I need to annotate something about this automatically, okay? That's normal, that's the normal process. And it says, as given, another example, as given is to receiving. Have you heard that saying that you receive what you give? Have you heard that? You receive what you give? No. Yes or no? <clears throat> okay, I guess that, you probably heard that before, okay? You receive what you give. Now, in this case, we can say, you write about what you read, okay? You write about what you read. So it says, the one act presupposes the other act. Together, I mean, when they are together, the two acts are one act. I mean, the two of them, reading, writing they become one, okay? They become one act. Now, they are separated, but they are together at the same time. That's the thing. <coughs> now, <coughs> um, in case that Zoom just uh, kick us out, okay? <laughs> uh, please, I'm gonna share another link on the, on the WhatsApp group that we have, okay? so that you can join again to the video conference because we only have six minutes left, okay? And I'm gonna say this in Spanish again. En caso que el Zoom no saque, porque nos quedan seis minutos nada más, voy a compartirles otro link en el grupo de WhatsApp y se vuelven a unir por medio de ese link, okay? Va a ser un nuevo link. Me dice. <coughs> okay. Inter. Yeah, tell me. We can use the same link. We can use the same link? Yeah. Um, we, we tried that last time, but I don't know why it didn't work. So I'm going to share with another the, one. The, the music teacher, we, we do that. <coughs> I'm sorry? Con el maestro de música de la universidad, tenemos las conferencias en Zoom y hacemos lo mismo. Con el mismo link nos unimos. Al... I do with the same link, but I got to learn how to do it. <laughs> I gotta learn how to do it because I mean I tried that the last time. It didn't work. I don't know why. It didn't work. By el, el, el maestro música manda el link al grupo. Nosotros tocamos el link y ya los unimos de nuevo a la conferencia y lo mismo como se entra la primera vez. Mm. Y se reinicia el contador. 
Y qué genial, pero fíjate que eso tengo que aprender a hacerlo, porque realmente la vez pasada traté algo así de hacerlo y no, no, no pude. Así que tal vez luego, porque ahorita sí como que ya no estamos. Voy a investigar bien eso, porque si se puede hacer, entonces lo voy a investigar y lo hacemos la siguiente. Pero thank you por decirme eso. Sí, porque ahorita uh, ya casi no hay time, por eso. <risa> Pero sí, si se puede, voy a investigar cómo se hace entonces. Ahorita no lo sé. Let's see. Ok, writing a written response. Quiero que uh, a esto sí le pongamos uh, mucha, mucha atención. Bueno, a todo lo que hemos dicho básicamente. Espero que hayan estado poniendo atención, pero esto es básicamente su homework. Esto es básicamente la parte en la que ustedes van a practice, ¿ok? You're going to practice with this. Esta es la parte en la que ustedes van a hacer. ¿Y qué es lo que van a hacer? Bueno, you are going to write, you are going to write a reading response. Let's see here. Ok. Pueden ver ahí la pantalla, ¿verdad? Es que la, la quité un momento. ¿Sí pueden verla? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, perfect. So, esto es lo que ustedes van a hacer. This is what you're going to do. You're going to write a reading response, okay? Now, what is a reading response? Well, a reading response as the reader. So, in this case, you, because you are, you are the readers. This time, you are going to be the readers, okay? So, to examine, explain, and defend your personal reaction to a reading. Okay, so a reading response is your personal reaction to what you are reading, to the text, okay? So what you think about what you're reading, how it makes you feel, okay? Your personal reaction, okay? So examine, explain, and defend your personal reaction. That is a reading response. <clears throat> Okay, that is a reading response. Now, and it says, you will be asked to explore, pay attention to this, why you like or dislike the reading. You can say something like, I like the reading because of this and that, or I dislike the reading because I, um, I don't agree with this point, okay, etc. whatever. And as well, you are going to explain whether you agree or disagree with the author. You can say, I agree with the author because what he or she says is true, okay? I mean, and you can probably write something, a personal experience about what you're reading, or you as well can disagree with the author. You can say, I disagree with this author. I think that things should be done this way and not that way. Okay, and as well, you are going to identify, I'm sorry, again, you are going to identify the reading's purpose. Okay, you are going to identify the reading's purpose. Now, what's the purpose of the reading? Probably the, uh, the author wants to um, transmit something like an idea to your mind. The author is trying to persuade the reader about something or probably it's just um, defending a point of view, right? I mean, what's the purpose of the reading? You have to identify that, okay? And critic the text. This is very important, right? <clears throat> you are going to critic the text. Now, we have less than one minute. Uh, but well, you are going to create the text, so write your critic about the text, right? If you disagree with that or if you agree with that, say it. Say it. It doesn't matter, okay? Say it. Now, it's less than one minute, so I'm going to 